welcome to News Bits on NITV. I am Oluchi Madu. Let's take a quick look at the headlines. Jonathan returns after a four day official trip. Akunili calls for internal reforms. Ship containing toxic waste detained in Lagos. And Delta members of the House of Reps condemn Ibori's indictment. All this in a moment. The acting president, Goodluck Jonathan, returned to the country on Thursday morning after a four-day official visit to the United States where he was invited by President Barack Obama to attend the Nuclear Security Summit. On arrival, Jonathan was received by a delegation of top government functionaries led by the Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Mahmoud Yayali Ahmed. Addressing newsmen at the airport shortly after arrival, Foreign Affairs Minister Odein Ajumogovia described the U.S. trip as successful adding that it provided the country an opportunity to engage with the world. According to him, there is a lot of goodwill, enormous goodwill for Nigeria outside Nigeria, and now is the time to take advantage of that goodwill for the betterment of the country. Ajumogobia made reference to the BBC and CNN interviews granted by acting President Goodluck Jonathan to prove the fact that there was a lot of excitement and that everyone was eager to meet the acting president. Security agencies have detained a ship by name MV Nashville, alleged to be carrying toxic waste into the country at the Tinkan Island port in Lagos. Mr. Musa Ilya, who is the head of Public Relations, Nigerian Ports Authority, said the ship arrived the country on Wednesday evening and is operated by American President Lines, a subsidiary of Singapore-based company Neptune Orient Lines. Director General of the National Environmental Standards Regulatory and Enforcement Agency, Dr. Ngeri Benebo, disclosed that the necessary officials were aware of the ship's arrival, including the National Security Advisor, Lieutenant General Ali Gusau, the Minister of Environment, Mr. John Ode, and the Minister of Finance, Dr. Shegun Aganga. Dr. Ilya said that the ship had not discharged and was under detention as relevant agencies are collaborating to determine the actual contents of the container and will take necessary measures. The agencies involved in the detention of the ship are the Nigerian Ports Authority, the Nigerian Maritime Administration and Safety Agencies, the National Intelligence Agency, State Security Service and the Nigerian Customs Service. Authorities in the Netherlands where the vessel had sailed from had said that it was carrying, among other things, 70 storage lead batteries and broken televisions. The head of public relations to the Nigerian Customs Service, Mr. Wale Adeni, however said that the contents of the vessel would be examined today. The Minister of Information and Communications, Professor Dora Akunili, has urged media organizations to embark on internal reforms. She said this in her address at the Nigeria Union of Journalists 55th anniversary on Thursday in Abuja. The minister, who was represented by the Minister of State, Mr. Labaran Maku, said the reforms would enable the media to play their required role in a thriving democracy and that the reforms should cover such areas as enforcement of professional ethics, capacity building, and staff welfare. Akunili also informed guests present that the ministry recently set up a special committee to examine the salaries of staff of federal government-owned media organizations and make recommendations for consideration. She said the report of the committee was still being awaited. She also called for partnership between the media and government to promote a new political culture, religious tolerance, value reorientation, social development, and the rule of law. Speaking at the event, the NUJ president, Malam Gauba Mohammed, had urged the National Assembly to pass the Freedom of Information Bill. The Delta State Caucus in the House of Representatives has faltered the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, over the recent indictment of former governor of Delta State, Chief James Ibori, who was declared wanted by the agency a few days ago. The caucus led by Honorable Halims Agoda has asked the EFCC chairman, Mrs. Farida Waziri, to resign her appointment if she was not ready to pursue other known cases of criminality and official corruption pending at various tiers of government in the country. At a news conference in Abuja, the caucus described the process leading to the declaration of Ibori as wanted as a breach of due process and an evidence that Nigeria was again back to the reign of political persecution. 
the EFCC was accused of pursuing a hidden agenda against Ibori in reopening case files of allegations in which the ex-governor had been tried and discharged in the past. Honorable Agoda expressed reservations over the drama and media trial of Ibori, saying that the trend of events tell tales of a deliberate attempt by some people to dent his political career under the guise of executing a war against corruption. And that's it on this edition of News Bits. Thanks for logging on.